Good day everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to a special Synergy video, yes, where we look over Synergies as one does. Now this one will be over Spider-Ham Synergy, this one here enticed me, it interested me, it made me, I would say it made me moist, but I don't think it made me, how can Synergies make you moist in game, but it interested me nevertheless. And that's Fourth Wall Crawler, so gain an indefin indefinite Fury buff whenever a debuff expires on the opponent, increasing attack rating by plus 10%. Stacking up to 10 times. Wow. Okay. Um, if you can get the bleeds off and you can stack them, that's going to mean for some very nice damage with Platinum Pool. The, is it going to make, make it like a completely viable champion? I don't know. It's still a fun champion. It's really good against uh, several little bits of content. And mainly for exhibitions like this is a video exhibition type thing. To be honest, I first of all started off like putting in Heimdall in, but because it's stacked, I don't really need Heimdall, so I might just throw in some of the just random synergies that come with the champion. I just thought I'd quickly check as well, marvelsynergy.com. This is where I go to have a look at any synergies. Uh, and unfortunately, there, there doesn't seem to be anything on offer when it comes to uh, like Deadpool X4, standard Deadpool, scrolling down to Platinum Pool. Yeah, it's like they, they don't have anything for Platinum Pool, which is weird because normally, normally they do. But, you know, we're just going with some of the champion specific ones. If you don't know the way the Platinum Pool works, he just draw these, draws these cards, these cards benefit effects. There may be sometimes you've got to do like a succession of attacks in order to get something. I think that's the Summo Pool one. But there is one that benefits this one here, which is the Blood Drive. So we want to put bleeding effects on the enemy. But as well, we, we kind of do, kind of don't. And and then just, just kind of like putting in different things like Mode you No, know, Mode Mixer is the one with your different types of uh, attacks in succession. And Summer Pool is a little bit different than that. Summer Pool is probably the most interesting one, especially because it stacks on more the Fury. So you'll get a Fury buff. You know, we're getting Fury from the bleed effects expiring. But the main way I think we're going to try and play the champion is based on that synergy with Spider-Ham, which is throwing SP1s will give the bleed effect. The bleed effect lasts for 16 seconds, and then it's going to go off. And that's what we need to do in order to get the Fury buff. Timing that is so inch perfect. As soon as you get the first hit in, you need to be, you need to be going in. So, uh, so much on timing there. That's so, so much of an important thing. Oh, like there. That's all about timing, but that was some nice amount of damage to see. Either way, we've got the, we've got the unblockable. Another SP1. AI being a bit kind of weird and janky, but that's fine. That's just how it is. Some good amount of damage as well. We're going to throw in a... I'm going to try and do an SP3 in a minute, even though I'm unblockable. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to go hit into the enemy and I'm going to eat an SP2. Some good damage as well. There we go. Some more damage. It's getting up nicely. I'm going to throw in an SP1 to finish. And there we go. How many hits? That's going to be the crucial thing with this champ. 123. That's not too bad, especially for a 565. Uh, suicide Masteries, would that bring down a lot more? Of course it would. And I still massively put into question whether or not this champion is hugely viable, especially from taking on things like Act 6.3 or 6.1. I think Act 6.1 for sure, especially with some of the nodes and that kind of build up and play that you've got. But this is a uh, 6.3.2, I think it was. Yeah, 6.3.2. But there is kind of like some sustainability that I do like about Platinum Pool. I just don't know if I can see myself like thinking too much. I don't want to overly think too much about champions. Rather than kind of concentrating on things like, okay, well, you know, I've got to switch between doing this card or this card or this card. I want to really get on with my grind as quickly as possible. So if you want a champion that's kind of, and this is the thing, this is the premium nature to this champion. But there is good sustainability. That's that is that's I think the key thing about this champion is sustainability. And as well, it looks like when we've got the bleed effects, so that's what we're going to try and do now. Is just keep those keep those bleed effects high as much as possible, and keep up the pressure. We need to keep up the pressure as much as possible. It's ticking. It's ticking nicely. Nice parrying. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Uh, and yeah, like as soon as you get the Furies up, you do, we're doing some melting here. Right, quick tester. I'm just doing the auto fight as well. Jesus Christ. This is the first time I've, I've seen this kind of working in action. Um, yeah, I'm 
Wow, okay. That's fun. <laughs> well, that's an experience. I've never seen the auto fight. I mean, well, I've seen it before, like in preparation videos and stuff from like um, Entity Journal and such like. But um, I've never actually seen it in action. So that's, um, that's a first from me. But yeah, like the point I think I'm coming to with this video is that the the champion does work well with stacking those furies. I think stacking those furies can help. It helps the extent of ramp up of damage in a very quick time frame, where maybe before it may be not as potent. And as well, you know, just uh, less hits. You can build up to ten of those furies quite nicely. I think the most crucial thing to use with the champion has got to be mode mixer. So that's one of the epic cards that you can pick up. Or is it a legendary? I, I don't. I don't really. I'm not 100% sure on what is uh, determined by this, but um, well, it, it says that. Does it say it's epic? Yes, yeah, an epic. I think an epic card that uh, mix that mix ma mi mode mixer even. Once you go into those different modes, if you're throwing off a special attack, at least then you know to kind of scale. And that's what I was doing in the video was kind of going, like, okay, do a special. So I was trying to then balance in with doing the prowess, uh, the prowess buffs mixed in with uh, with this. I think that's the most crucial one, and as well that the the, the bleeding one. There are some really kind of cool elements to the sustainability of the champion with regeneration, but I don't really see... The difficulty is finding a place for it, finding a place for this champion. I think it does have a place, and I think it'd be good to kind of rock in the Spider-Ham synergy from time to time. But yeah, I just thought this would be an interesting video to go over what differences it makes, and I think it makes a lot of difference, especially from reducing down the hits. Be interested to put this on with Suicide Masteries and, and give it an experimentation, and, uh, and yeah, whether or not it's um, a huge damage dealer is that uh, will be yet to be seen but i reckon you could do it flat with about 70 hits when it when it's suicide masteries with this so it does look like it's kind of cool and would it be an option maybe i just think there's there's so many other better suicide mastery options out there so yeah would you be interested to rank 565 this champion or even awaken it put it in the conversation down below now indeed has been a video thank you very much for watching and see you very soon Bye bye